So that's what started happening. Architects built stuff that looked like paintings. Painters painted stuff that looked like buildings. Like the first one by a young friend of Brunelleschi's called Masaccio. In 1326, his Trinità was so realistic, it looked like a hole through a wall into a chapel. Watch how the way the painting is structured on those perspective lines converging at the viewer's own head height forces you to feel you're at the foot of the cross looking up. The new perspective framework was copied immediately. Look how Christ on the left is the center point for a perspective structure centering on him and how your horizon line is at his eye level too. As this new realistic view of life caught on, scenes were still taken from the Bible, but they used subjects whose clothes and faces were taken from individuals in everyday life. Of course, it was too good to last. If perspective gave you the ability to control things from a distance, you could bet it wouldn't be long before the things being controlled became people. But in the brief interval before that happened, in the interval we call the Renaissance. Perspective meant what it said, getting things in proportion in every sense. And nowhere was that more true in terms of what it did to people's lives than here. A little town in central Italy called Little Town, Urbino. <laughs> 